How's it going everybody? This is a uh, Yellow Mustang here. Going to be doing a tutorial about uh, C-Frame lerping. Uh, what it can be used for, how it works, and I'm just going to try to uh, inform you guys exactly how to use it because it's a very useful function in Roblox. And I see a lot of other tutorials on here not exactly explaining properly of uh, how to lerp. So, you know, there's a lot of confusion, you know, people just copy and paste code, whatever. So, for, for lerping, the best way I find to lerp C frames between two positions is with a for loop. So, you do for i equals zero. So, the, the loop is going to start at zero. The index i is the index, so it's going to start at zero. Uh, the goal, end goal we're going to do is just one. Right, so it's pretty small, but our increment is going to be very small. So we're going to do 0 0.01 as our loop increment. So each time it runs through this loop, uh, i is going to be increased by 0 0.01 here. Okay, so so bear with me here. So we can do a wait. You know, we got to have some delay to this so we can actually see the loop run through, so the part looks like it's moving. So we're going to do workspace dot part dot c frame. And then we're going to set the C frame to something else. So we're going to do workspace dot part dot C frame lerp. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So I was trying to get this to pop up here. So you can see the uh, the C frame lerp uh, requirements. It says returns the C frame interpolated between C frame and the goal by the fraction alpha. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of gibberish. You know, nobody's really going to understand. So let me. <laughs> Let me break it down for you. So, so the goal is the position where you want the part to move to, right? That's that's simple. Everyone can understand that. You know, it doesn't matter. So the number alpha is where it gets a little bit confusing, right? So the way Roblox does it is this is basically how far along, like the percent of how far your your lerp is going to go. So like 0 0.5 is going to be 50 percent, which is going to be middle. Like the part is going to be the middle point between the two parts, right? So let's let's continue typing this here. So we're gonna do lerp, and then we've got to give it the position, right? So C frame, we'll just do C frame dot new zero five zero, all right? Pretty simple. And then we'll put I here because I is going to be our percent, okay? So it's going to run through this loop. It's gonna reset the position each time in accordance with I. So it's gonna get a little bit further each time because it's increasing I, which is the percent of the um the actual the lerp okay so let's go ahead and run this and see see if this part actually moves or not okay as you can see it smoothly runs across the field here and and comes to the position we specified which is zero slash five or zero five zero whatever so it's, it's floating in the air here now so you can do more stuff than this you don't have to just lerp between one position you know you can do um you make it rotate as well, so C frame dot angles, you know, zero, uh, map dot rad ninety zero. All right, let's shrink this down a little bit. I'm not typing too damn much. All right, so so we're gonna have it. Uh, it's gonna go to this position position now, and it's gonna rotate ninety degrees on the y axis. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so it was a little bit fast. I noticed. So we can make this increment smaller. And that's going to make it smoother. It's going to make it slower because this loop is going to run more times. Okay, so we can add another zero, and that is going to make it like a hundred times, like literally a hundred times more smooth of what we just saw. So let's see now. As you can see, very slowly, it slides right into place. It's nice, isn't it? So there you go. You got your part lerping there. So if you don't want to actually like specify a position in the workspace like this I mean you can easily make it just go to a different part so so you got your part here let's go ahead and go to model uh, part block right so we'll put this shit up over here we'll call this uh no, let's see part one all right so we're gonna go ahead and tell this now to forget about that just go to workspace dot part one that C frame okay so it's literally just gonna move that uh block there okay let's fix this what is going on here workspace dot part dot C frame part one dot C frame right oh shit there we go okay so so we got the workspace dot part dot C frame that's gonna be our goal position there 
So that part is going to move to this part both rotation wise and position wise in the world. We've got our eye here again so let's go ahead and see if this runs properly. Alright as you can see move straight up into the part perfectly inside very nice okay you know we can also rotate this part it's going to copy the rotation as well because it's the C frame the C frame includes the position it is in the world and also the rotation of the part you know the orientation so let's go ahead and run this again and you will see it just rotates and moves smoothly into the part um, that's pretty much it for lerping I mean you can do it with welds also anything that involves uh, C frame you can use the same function you know and um, and it'll work you know anything with C frame you use welds the camera parts whatever you name it let's just go over uh, one more thing so we don't have to use this this for loop right we can um, let's, let's not do that let's just put this in the console down here so if we are going to so I right so as I was saying 0 0.05 so if we change the the goal alpha this is 50 percent of the way through to the part okay so if we paste this into our console here you can see that's 50 percent right it's 0 0.5 out of 1 like you can do the math like 0 0.5 out of 1 is 50 percent so if we do that again, it's going to move 50% closer each time, right? So each time you get a little bit closer. So we put that back there. We do zero point. We can change it to nine. It's going to be right there, all right? We can uh, move it away again. Let's change it to 0 0.1, which is going to be 10% of the way to it. It's going to move only a little bit. It's going to stay relatively in the same spot. Okay, so that's the basics to lerping, you know, let me know if you want me to go more in depth about lerping, but I mean, I think I covered basically everything with it. So um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.